7% increase in the amount of water vapor. Already, just in 30 years, we've seen a 4% increase in the average humidity worldwide. So when these storms uh, form, they release much more water, warmer temperatures, much more heavy precipitation days. That's why the downpours are getting bigger and the floods are getting stronger and more destructive. Like what happened in Pakistan less than four years ago. 20 million people rendered homeless, further destabilizing and, 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 and hurting a, a country uh, that is it, a great country uh, and nuclear armed. India last year, I could show you thousands of such floods. Central Europe, the strongest floods measured in at least 500 years. Yesterday, two days ago, in Afghanistan, and the relief workers have told us uh, they fear that 2,500 people were killed because these heavy downpours caused mudslides. We had one in my country uh, just a, a couple of weeks ago. The aid workers have said that in the last seven days, more Afghans have been killed in these events than all of those killed in the war during 2013. This was uh, two, three days ago in my country in Florida. 61 centimeters of rain in 26 hours. This is not normal. We have all such events all around the world. The same storm traveled up the east coast of the U.S. and saturated the, the city of Baltimore. exceptional drought. The reservoirs are drying up. And of course with drought comes fire. You may remember what happened in Russia less than uh, four years ago. The largest drought and the largest fires in history. And then four months later, Russia, Ukraine, and Kazakhstan took all of their grain off the world markets. And as a result, food prices hit the, the second all-time high uh, in less than three years. And there were food riots in dozens of countries around the world. The cost of carbon is adding up. Instability, drought, potential uh, threats to our food supply, climate refugees, all of the rest that you see there, sea level rise. We cannot continue ignoring this. We must face it. We face a moment of decision. That, Mr. Secretary General, is why this Ascent, this Abu Dhabi ascent, uh, is so crucial. Now, here is the good news. The scientific establishment 
uh, is virtually an atlas. The last uh, year, 99.99% of all peer-reviewed uh, papers, all of the uh, academies of science uh, on the planet agree their joint statement. The evidence is indisputable. The need for urgent action uh, is indisputable. We have the solutions at hand, and they are coming along much faster than anyone expected them to. A wise man once said, things take longer to happen than you think they will, and then they happen much more quickly than you thought they could. That's where we are on renewable energy. Already there are 79 countries that have reached grid parity with the photovoltaic solar energy. Here was the projection 12 years ago that the world would have one gigawatt per year of photovoltaic energy by 2010. Well, 2010 came around and actually we exceeded that projection by 17 times. Last year we exceeded that projection by 39 times. This year we will exceed that projection by 54 times. This is an exponential curve. We've seen it before. We saw it with computer chips. This is world solar photovoltaic production. It is going up so rapidly, it is quite amazing. This is by country. And of course, we have seen this uh, all over the world, particularly uh, in uh, China. But the rest of the world, all over the world, this has happened. So here is another analogy, not computer chips, but mobile phones. I remember those first big clunky mobile phones. AT&T did a massive study in 1980 and predicted that by the year 2000, they could sell almost one million of them. Well, in the year 2000, actually, they were a little bit off, 120 times off. This year, there are 6.3 billion mobile phone connections. So the answer is, why were they not only wrong, why were they way wrong? I think there are four parts to the answer. Number one, the cost dropped much faster than anyone expected. The quality went up at the same time. Individuals made the decisions on purchasing. And the developing and emerging countries did not have existing landline telephone grids, so they leapfrogged. That's happening now. Landline electricity structures. Look at what is happening in so many parts of the world. This is an unstoppable revolution. New business models are appearing. New financing uh, arrangements are appearing. We are seeing the costs continue to come down an average of 15% every single year. This is uh, unstoppable. This is the poorest country in the world where children are connecting to digital learning with photovoltaic uh, power. These are the countries, uh, as of this year, that have already reached grid parity. Uh, and within six years, more than 80% of all the people on planet Earth will have access to photovoltaic electricity equal to or cheaper than the grid average price. And it will continue to spread from there.